Hi guys, it's Magaz here. Today we are taking a brief look at the ICS CXP HOG. This will be more of an overview than a full review because unfortunately there will be no shooting test of this particular gun as we only had it in the studio long enough to record the review footage. The gun was upgraded immediately after leaving the studio so shooting a performance test with the upgraded parts would give an unrealistic idea of what to expect when buying one of these brand new. With that in mind, to see the performance of another stock ICS AG and to get a better idea of how this one will perform, check out the CXP 15K review in the cards. The ICS CXP HOG is a mid-length rifle and part of the CXP electric blowback range, which features a number of variations of the HOG rifle, which include versions with the tubular handguard and a variety of stocks, flash hiders and suppressors. The version we are looking at is coded IMT271-1 and comes rear wired with a mini Tamiya connector. From the front of the gun the HOG comes fitted with a very aggressive looking flash hider which removes to reveal a standard 14mm negative thread. The uniquely designed handguard easily swings open by removing a small handguard pin. This allows for the easy storage of a battery in the front wired version. Or, if like myself you run Mobius cameras, this would be an ideal space to store portable power packs to keep those cameras running all day. The handguard is constructed from metal and has a number of key mod slots for the addition of any number of accessories or rails. The gun comes with three short rail sections in the box. On top of the handguard is a monolithic 20mm rail which runs from the front sight all the way to the rear of the receiver. The sights are the standard CXP flip-up sights and match the colour of the rifle. The upper receiver, which is constructed from metal, has been modernised and features sharp angles and a very aggressive looking forward assist. It is very similar aesthetically to what you would see on an LR300. The charging handle has also had a redesign and is slightly larger and easier to grip hold of than the standard T-wings on older style ARs. Pulling this back opens the bolt cover and gives access to the hop. The hop unit is the CXP design and is constructed mainly from metal with a plastic thumb wheel and C-clip which holds the 263mm barrel in securely. The fire controls are as you would expect on an AR style rifle and feature a single fire selector on the left hand side of the receiver which rotates from safe through semi and automatic. The bolt release is in the usual place and serves no function other than for aesthetics. The magazine release is designed for right handed shooters and is the standard AR index finger push button design. Because this rifle came from fire support, the spring release that most players have come to know and love with ICS rifles has been removed. Fire support state that this is because it is known to cause double feeds and damage to the rifle. I've never personally seen any issues with the system, but I thought it might be worth mentioning in the video in case you guys wanted this feature when you bought the rifle. The pistol grip is the CXP ergonomic design and is equally comfortable for right or left handed shooters. The stock is a unique design with a similar aesthetic to the Magpul CTR. It has six positions on the buffer tube and can be removed to access the battery compartment. The buffer tube is of a newer design and hides the stock wires underneath a metal rail to protect them and allow for more space in the battery compartment. As mentioned earlier, the HOG is an electric blowback rifle and as a result the upper gearbox is a slightly different design to that of a standard ICS AR series rifle. When removing the upper gearbox the charging handle removes with it similar to that of a real AR-15. If you're in the UK the upper gearbox will come pre-installed with an M100 spring keeping it well within the UK legal limits. As a result the motor is also downgraded from the turbo 3000 that usually powers the M120 spring to the infinite 2500. This is to prevent the gun from firing twice on semi-automatic due to the lower power of the spring. The spring can be accessed by the CXP's quick chain spring guide in the rear of the gearbox. The magazine is the standard T-Mag high cap that ships with all modern era ICS rifles. It holds 300 rounds and has a small viewing window to check how many are remaining. As you would expect, this rifle performs equally as well as all the ICS CXP rifles and is ideal for new and more experienced players alike. 
The ability to change the spring with just a single Allen key makes it ideal for players who want to squeeze a little extra performance out of their gun, but don't want the hassle of taking an entire rifle apart to do so. Normally, here is where we would perform the chrono check and accuracy test. As I mentioned earlier, we didn't have the opportunity to shoot them with this gun. We will in the future bring this rifle in its current upgraded state back into the studio for a second overview and we will run it through the chrono and test the accuracy and talk about the parts and upgrades that have gone into the rifle. For now, you can hit the link in the end cards to see its younger sibling, the ICS CXP 15K, being reviewed and get an idea on what to expect performance wise from an ICS rifle. If you have enjoyed this video, hit like and leave a comment down below. Subscribe for more reviews, gameplay and other airsoft related content in the future. Thanks for watching, I'm Magaz, this is CBMPC TV, and remember kids, the air may be soft, but our balls are hard.